name is Rich Keller with Lake County Grading. Uh, I'm a partner in the company for the last 12 years and I run all the field uh, oper operations and logistics. My name is Ruben Cuevas. I'm with Lake County Grading and I'm the chief surveyor slash uh, GPS guy. I handle all the dozers, the rovers for the uh, laborers, as well as uh, the hard staking of the surveying. We're a mid-sized company. We've been taking on a lot of road work, but we still do some commercial, some municipal projects. We're doing one in Wheeling, a big park site for uh, the Water Reclamation District. This year is pretty interesting. We're working on a couple super fun sites uh, down on the Waukegan Lake Front. I got here in 99, so GPS was just in its infancy as far as machine control. A couple years later we got into it and immediately saw the benefits of it and we jumped in and a couple machines every year and you know, next thing you know we've got 13 of them and you know 13 rovers. I know on a day-to-day -day basis what transpires in the field with these crews and how integral that tractor is now to the day-to-day -day operations. I mean when you can stick a, a dozer out there and he can run up a ditch line or subgrade a piece of road with basically no other assistance or he's running with a, a pan or some kind of haul unit it's a big deal. Well, they definitely speed up the process. Uh, you're saving time there. We've eliminated a good 60, 70 percent of the staking. It's real customizable for doing different layers, uh, your subgrade, your respreads, your ag placements. It seems to just speed up the whole process, especially the MC squared. Uh, you know, once you're down to the last level and you're spreading out grinding, you can grade really fast and put it down accurately. In speed, there's probably a good 30% jump uh, in production. I mean, you can grade in third gear if you want to. As far as accuracy, I'm usually within a tenth with the old system. I'm usually within a half a tenth with the MC squared. So it's twice as accurate. Yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. Definitely. To have an IGC ready to go straight from the factory or from the dealer, that's definitely the way to go. It sure helps to not have to string a, a machine that comes factory ready. Everything's prefabbed, pre-installed, plug and play. You gotta configure your different measurements and the way you go. You know, I've had operators that have worked for other companies and use Trimble, like uh, different systems, and they all tell me that Topcon's the most user-friendly for the operator. It's simple, they can customize the view, it's easy to modify things. So, I mean, it's pretty simple, very user-friendly, so anybody can pick it up. So the guys that are out there working for us, the guys around these tractors or running that equipment are, you know, they're 12, 15-year guys with me. So they've had to come over the learning curve too in terms of the GPS, but once they get a hold of it, I don't want to let it go. And even some of the younger guys that have never worked it before, I ask them, have you ever played video games? <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, I'm a big time gamer. I said, well, now you're in the video game. You're the little dozer running around on the picture. You know, you put it in those terms, they, they pick up real quick. And once they see what it can do, uh, they wish they had it forever. <laughs> you need to have that technology so you can get your cost down to, to be able to be successful on bid day. You're taking those advantages for your production and your accuracy and your lack of labor power to actually succeed and be low bid. It is indispensable and it is uh, a big part of our system. We were one of the early adopters uh, pretty much on everything, the network, machine control in general, so we like to stay on the cutting edge and Topcon seems to have the latest products, so latest technology. It's so uh, integrated into our system that, uh, you know, I don't think we could live without it. I, I'm sure we could go back to lasers and tapes, but who wants to do that? You're regressing, so yeah. we like to move forward, and uh, this technology has definitely enabled us to do that.